Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be different than, I don't know why I'm so nervous. Whew, it's gonna be different than anything I've ever done on my channel before on my main channel. Um, instead of doing a New Year's Eve makeup tutorial, today I wanted to kind of reflect on the year and do more of an inner beauty video. Today is not about the glitz or the glam, it's not about the makeup. Today is about inner beauty, it's about what's on the inside and I know you guys, well most of you subscribe to my channel for my makeup tutorials and my beauty and fashion, but I also want you guys to like me because of who I am on the inside and because of who I am as a person. So um, I wanted to just talk about loving yourself today and if you're not subscribed to my vlog channel I do have a second channel and if you are then you're used to these kind of videos I do videos like this I like to call them chit chat vlogs I do a lot of videos like this on my second channel I wanted to do this video today barefaced no makeup just as I am I do have lip balm on but that's because I always wear lip balm because I hate when my lips feel dry you guys probably know if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while I'm actually feeling super nervous to put this video up on my main channel I always get nervous even putting them up on my second channel, but the response I get on my second channel is so amazing that I wanted to put myself out there, be vulnerable to you guys. This is me being raw and vulnerable, um, and it's very, very scary to put yourself out there for hundreds and thousands or millions of people to watch. So I hope you guys can appreciate this side of me, and um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So um, let's get into it. 2015 was an amazing year for me career-wise and professional. I'm so thankful for all the things God brought into my life, and I'm so thankful for all the support from you guys. But emotionally, 2015 was the hardest year of my life. And I dealt with things I'd never dealt with before. I had hit emotions I had never felt. I hit rock bottom. And it was just an intense year for me. Because of everything that was going on in my life, I decided to embark on a journey of self-love that started about June of last year. And self-love is hard. It's one of the hardest things we have to go through in life and it's something that we all struggle with is self-love and confidence. With social media, we have so much access to all of these people's lives around the world and I feel like everyone looks so glamorous and perfect and goals and we find ourselves comparing our lives to other people's and comparison is a thief of joy and it definitely hinders the self-love process because there's always going to be someone prettier or richer or more successful or whatever. There's always someone that's better. But one thing that I was taught growing up is that also it could always be worse. Even your lowest of lows, it could always be worse. And I remember in high school dealing with a lot of things and my parents would always tell me, Amanda, like it could be worse. You have food to eat. You have a house. You have shelter. And one thing I've learned the past year is to really be thankful for everything that I do have because I feel like we can get caught up and be like, I don't have this or I want this or why can't my life be like this? Why does she have that and I don't? And it just ruins your life and you become angry and bitter and consumed and you start taking for granted what you have in your life. I know there are lots of you out there who feel hopeless and you're going through horrible things that you feel like no one else can relate to or that no one else can imagine and I'm telling you don't give up, don't lose faith because once you hit rock bottom you then realize and you discover what you're made of and you're able to rebuild your life stronger than ever and I promise you it will get better and I promise you Everything happens for a reason. Even traumatic things that have happened in my life, I didn't understand then. Like, why? Why? Why is this happening? I overanalyze and overthink everything. So when bad things would happen, I'm like, why? Why is this happening? I don't understand. But I had to learn to let go and just realize that there is a plan and that everything will be okay. And once I did that, there was just so much more peace in my life and so much more just stress I could feel lifting off of me because there are so many things in life we're not in control of but I believe loving yourself is one of the most important things in your life. If you don't love yourself you're not able to love your family, your friends, you're not able to give everyone your best you and I feel like so many people put themselves second and put everyone else before them and I understand like growing up with my mom, my mom was so selfless she put us before her 
with everything and never took any time for herself. My mom would wake up at like four in the morning, go work out, come back, make us breakfast, pack our lunches for school. And then when we'd be home, we'd also have dinner on the table. Like my mom was superwoman. But something that I've learned watching that and also things that I've experienced in my life is that you have to do something for yourself every single day. My mom would always tell me, do something for yourself every single day. And if you can take 30 minutes to an hour every single day, do it, whether it's taking a bath, reading a book, watching YouTube videos, do it. But I know some of us, it's not practical. We don't have that kind of time. So if you don't have time, you can at least take five minutes, at least five to 10 minutes a day and do something for yourself, whether it's painting your nails, again, watching a YouTube video, you deserve that. Like you are the number one person in your life because if you don't take care of yourself emotionally, physically, you're not gonna be as good of a wife, as good of a sister, a daughter, brother, husband. You're just not gonna be the best person that you can be. And I found out once I started to really love myself and put myself first, my relationship with God and with everyone in my life just became a million times better. Everyone should love themselves and realize that you're special and that you're important and that you're unique because if you don't love yourself, you're gonna surround yourself with people in your life who don't love you either because if you don't love yourself, how are you supposed to love anyone else? How is anyone else supposed to love you? I feel like a lot of people look for other people to prove their self-worth, you know? They look for maybe a boyfriend or a friend to tell them that they're beautiful all the time or to tell them that they're awesome or that they're talented at something, but at the end of the day, you still don't believe it. And I've been guilty of this in the past, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have. Once you realize you are all of those things, you don't need anyone else to tell you that. But when they do, it feels amazing because no one can make you love yourself. This is something that has to do with you. Don't look for someone else to fill that void in your heart. You have to do that yourself and you have to know how awesome you are and how cool you are. Like you have to know that. I feel like for a long time, I was always looking for things to make me love myself, whether it was new clothes, new makeup, maybe a new hairstyle. And I'm the type of person, I get bored very easily. Like I love change. I love changing up my style, changing up my look, especially being in makeup. Like I love trying new things. But once I started to love myself who I was, down to the core, all of that was just additional things. Um, I feel like a lot of us search for things to make us better and to make us perfect or to make us look a certain way and makeup is amazing. Makeup makes me feel empowered, makeup makes me feel confident, but you also wanna be confident without any makeup, which is why I'm doing this video bare-faced, oily hair today because I love myself for who I am. I've reached a point in my life that I am just as confident without makeup as I am with makeup. And for a long time, I couldn't say that. Um, I know I talked about on my second channel how I started going to church this, or in 2015, I started going to church without any makeup on. I couldn't do that before. There were lots of times the past few years, and even in high school. In high school, I wore makeup every single day, which not saying there's anything wrong with that, there's not. But I would not leave the house without makeup on. And you guys see me on Snapchat and everywhere else a lot, even on my other channel, where I don't wear makeup. When I start my makeup tutorials, I don't have any makeup on. But I couldn't do that for a long time. And I'm able to do that now because I love myself and I'm happy with myself. And I know that external beauty is external. At the end of the day, all of the makeup washes off. The contacts come out. The hair extensions come out. You know, all of that is gone. And what's left is who you are as a person. It is so freeing and such an amazing feeling to be in a relationship with yourself and to be happy with yourself because then everything else you do, you do because it makes you happy. Um, you know, I love wearing color contacts sometimes. I think they're fun. Hair extensions, wigs, they're just so fun to play with. But at the end of the day, this is me. You know, and I, I'm Amanda, I am who I am, and I'm not gonna change as a person. Makeup and fashion, all that, it's just fun things as women and some men, we love to do that. Um, but it's so important to love yourself from the core and to never forget who you are as a person because at the end of the day, that's what matters. Not the makeup, the person you are is what matters. Loving myself has been something that I've struggled with my entire life until the past year. Um, just always not thinking that I was good enough and why would somebody love me? And oh, they don't wanna hang out with me. Why would they wanna hang out with me? It was just a constant battle and a constant struggle. And I know a lot of us get that way and it sucks. But once I started realizing what I had to offer and bring to the table 
and how cool I was, you know? Like we should all be confident in who we are. And once I started building that confidence and that self-love, my life just became a million times better. I wasn't as stressed out. Um, I had better relationships with my friends. I got so much closer with my family. And also I got so much closer with you guys. Um, starting last summer, my connection with you is stronger than ever. I just got chill bumps. Ah, my, my connection with you guys is just stronger than ever. And I feel so close to you. And I consider you guys all my friends. And I remember when I was giving breakup advice on my Snapchat, I literally sat on Snapchat and responded to you guys. It was like three hours that night. And then I woke up the next day and responded for a couple more hours. And just hearing your stories and just the fact that you guys would share these kinds of things with me was out of this world because they were traumatic things that you guys were going through. And here I am just showing people how to do makeup and I had no idea that you guys were going through this and it really opens up your eyes and makes you a lot more humble. Makeup is my passion, like beauty and fashion is my life and I'm so thankful that I found what I'm called to do here on earth and I just, I'm so thankful for you guys and whenever I'm reading comments, um, the most fulfilling ones that I get are ones when you guys comment and say that I motivated you or I inspired you or I made your day better because if I'm not helping anyone, I don't feel fulfilled. But when I read comments like that, it just makes my day that someone who, you know, is across the world or someone who's just watching my video can be impacted at all from something that I put out there and that is just amazing to me and it makes me so happy like you guys have pulled me out of things you didn't even know you were pulling me out of um I don't want to cry but you guys have pulled me out of a lot of things um <clears throat> the past year that you guys didn't even know that I was going through and you guys know that my breakup was a huge thing that happened last year but there have been so many amazing things that have happened through my struggle. And I know I've impacted a lot of you guys just from talking to you on my second channel, on this channel, Instagram, Snapchat. Like, I know that everything happens for a reason. I'm a perfectionist. I have been my entire life. Sometimes it's good, but sometimes, a lot of times, it can often be really annoying and really bad. And it's hindered me a lot in my loving myself journey until I started to realize that to love yourself, you have to realize you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be the best at everything in order to be a good person, in order to love yourself, in order for other people to love you. You just have to love yourself. You should never apologize for who you are because that's what makes you awesome and that's what makes you yourself. Embrace your differences. I mean, there are lots of things that I think are cool or pretty or things that I like to do that other people might not like to do. And there are lots of things that I think are cool the other people think are weird, but that's okay because that's what makes me happy. Never let anyone else make you feel bad for being yourself. And along with that, don't surround yourself with negative people in your life because you can't live a positive life. You can't have positive thoughts if you're surrounded by negativity. You need to get that out of your life. And that's one thing I also did last year was just cut negative people out of my life and people who were bringing me down, people who were toxic for me, people who didn't support me and had ulterior motives. All of that left behind in 2015. YouTube and being on social media also has played a big part in my journey because being on social media has its ups and downs like everything and getting thousands of comments every day, mostly good but also some bad, makes you just really pick yourself apart. You know, when I first started doing YouTube videos and like last year, I'd be like, oh, like looking at myself on camera, taking pictures, doing videos, you start to realize a lot of things and a lot of flaws about yourself that you never even noticed before. I'd be like, oh, that looks weird. Or why does my forehead look weird? Like I would just pick out all these things and then people would comment things and I'm like, oh my gosh, I never thought of that before. Like that is kind of weird. And you just kind of get brainwashed. I'm also extremely hard on myself. Like anytime I put up a video or a picture, I'm nervous. I'm like, are they going to like it? What's going to happen? Because I always think I could do better. I could do better. Like sometimes I don't like looking at old videos and old pictures. I've been like that my entire life. Cause I'm like, what was I thinking? Or I should have done this, but I've learned to accept my flaws and to accept me for the way I am because Perfection is boring and I don't want to be perfect. I think accepting your flaws is one of the hardest parts about loving yourself and it's definitely a constant struggle. It's a constant effort. 
loving yourself is a journey that you will go throughout your entire life and it's something you have to work at. Um, I know that I learn things about myself every single day. I evolve every single day and I want to always be growing as a person for my entire life. I don't think one day you wake up and you just love yourself and then you're happy and you live happily ever after. I don't think that that's real. Some days will be harder than others. There are some days you wake up and we just feel like shit and we're like, ugh, like I look awful today or I feel awful today or I feel frumpy and that's okay. That's, I mean, we're human. We're all gonna go through those kind of days, but we have to pull ourselves out of it and you have to come back stronger every single time. Um, not every day is gonna be perfect. We're gonna have great days. We're gonna have sad days. We're gonna have just all kinds of emotions. That's why we're human. But at the end of the day, know that it's worth it and that this journey is worth it. And the effort you put into loving yourself and being in a relationship with yourself is worth it because you're numero uno in your life. Like you are worth it. So take yourself out on a date. One thing that I did and started doing the past year that was amazing and so much fun was doing more things by myself. I felt like for a long time I always had to have a friend or a boyfriend or just someone there with me, but I started going out to restaurants and eating by myself or going to Starbucks and going to get a coffee by myself or going to the mall and walking around by myself. Just doing things by yourself. On this journey, I've gotten so many comments from you guys noticing a change in me and just noticing me coming into myself. And sometimes there are comments like, oh, you've changed, but I haven't changed. I've just found myself and I'm discovering myself and changing for the better, you know? Um, you guys have seen me if you've been with me from the beginning on this journey. I started this a couple years ago when I was a baby. I like to say I was a little baby. And I thought I was so grown up at the time, but really a lot has changed the past um, two to three years. And even in the last year, so much has changed. And I look back on the last year of 2015 and think like, I went through things I never thought I would have to go through, things I never thought I could go through, and here I am, like, at the end of the day, you're alive, and you're still here, and you're stronger than ever, and I like to look at them as my battle scars, like, when I think of everything that I've been through, and I'm so proud of myself, and you should be proud of yourself, too. Enjoy your struggle, and I have a whole video on my second channel about enjoying the struggle, which sounds weird, but... You know, when you go through bad things in your life, and everyone does, you really just learn what you're made of, and it molds you into the person that you are. The experiences in our life change us, and you can let the world transform you and make you into a bitter person, or you can overcome it and become a better person. And I wanna be better, not bitter. I don't know about you guys. I want to overcome everything and I will and be the best that I can be and to always look back and know that I'm better than I was yesterday. Loving yourself is knowing you're not in competition with anyone but yourself. Like I wanna be better than the person that I was yesterday and when I look in the mirror, that is my competition and that's who I'm trying to beat. I'm not trying to beat anyone else. Like everyone has their own lives and we should support one another. And being on social media, I just see so many hateful comments and it makes me so sad. Not just on my stuff, but on everyone who puts themselves out there. It's so much, I hate the word hate, ironic. They're not haters, they're like herders. Like they want to hurt you and they want to bring you down because their lives are so miserable. And that makes me so sad. Like, you're not hurting me. You're making me feel bad for you that you are in such a bad place with your life that you're coming on someone else's page you don't even know and being nasty and rude and just hurtful. Like, how does that make you feel better? How do you sleep at night? Every time I read comments on my Instagram or YouTube, I'm always super nervous because I'm like, what is someone gonna hate on me now for? What are they gonna say? What are they gonna bring up? And I'm like terrified to go and look at the comments. And that's sad, I shouldn't feel like that. Like, I want my channel to be an escape for you. I want this to be a place where you can come and we can talk about makeup and fashion and just have a good time. Life is too short. There are so many bad things going on in the world and I want this to be a place where you can come and have a few minutes of happiness and to escape because we all go through awful things in our life, but I want you to come here and be able to forget about all of that for five to 10 minutes or however long my video is. Um, I want you to come here and be able to relax and just forget about your problems for a little while. We all need those things in our life that 
make us forget about all the bad things just for a little while. And I hope that my channel can be that for you guys. So I want to leave you guys with a challenge today. I challenge you to do one nice thing for yourself today. And if you want to send it to me on Snapchat or take a picture of it on Instagram or Twitter and tweet it or tag me on Instagram, I would love to see it. I might create like a hashtag that you guys can tag so I can see it. Um, I'll link it like over here. I'll have to think of a hashtag. But if you want to send me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat me, the thing that you do for yourself, I would love to see it. One nice thing I do for myself is I buy myself flowers because I am obsessed with flowers and I used to always want them and I always depended on a guy to get them for me and he never did. So now I always buy them for myself and it just kind of proves to myself I don't need anyone else to do that. Like I can do that for myself and it just makes me so happy. Also, I would love if you shared this video with someone, whether it's a friend or a family member or on your Facebook or just someone you think would really appreciate this video. I feel like we all need to hear these kind of things once in a while and we all need to empower each other and lift one another up. So if you wanna share it with anyone, I would love that. And I think that's going to wrap up this video. So stay strong. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.